Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you a couple quick fixes when you don't have enough space on your iPhone to restore a backup. So let's get started. First, check the real space on your iPhone and see how much you actually have. To do this, open your iPhone and go to settings. From there, you will go to general. Once there, go to usage. Data that's being used and what's actually available. I have 7 gigs available and 4.5 being used right now. Manually deleting apps will help make more storage available to restore your phone. To do this, go to your apps and delete the unwanted ones that you don't need. And that's all you need to know on how to make space by deleting apps on your iPhone. Using Wondershare's Mobile Go to delete files off your iPhone is quite simple. Here's how to do it. Connect Mobile Go. Connect your phone to your computer then open Mobile Go. From there, you can click on Media, and all of your media files will appear here. You can click on the music to delete it by checkmarking these boxes right here. Then click Delete. You can go on movies, TV shows, music videos, podcasts, and more. You can even go into your photos to delete more and make space on your phone. Checking the security software settings will help reduce the conflict of iTunes getting the subject error saying that you will not be able to restore your backup on your iPhone. To do this, click on your clock on the top. From there, open data and time preferences. Once open, you see something similar to this. You can manually edit the date and time here, and time zone here. You can check the different clocks and everything, from what you would like to put on or what you would like to show. If you have internet, this can all be done automatically by checking this button here. From there, checking the latest version of iTunes is to be installed over the computer. After you've done that, it's also good to check if your iTunes is actually up to date, because this can also cause problems. To do this, open iTunes. Once iTunes is open, click on iTunes name here, and then click check for updates. me, I have an update. I'll be installing it now. From there, you should always frequently update your Mac. To do this, open the App Store. From there, click on Updates. An update should appear here. You can click on Update All or Update Individual Ones as needed. After using up all these methods, check the host files on Mac and Windows if you're familiar with it to make sure they are not the cause of issue. It's very important to update your iOS because these could also be the problem with why you can't restore or back up your phone. To do this, open your phone and go to settings. From there, go to general. And from there, click software update. The phone will prompt you to see if your phone needs to be updated or not. And that's all you need to know about security software settings.